Welcome to Faith Case, a place where we investigate the truth. Please welcome now Detective Pastor Debbie. It's me, Pastor Debbie, back with another... Sorry about that. Another exciting faith case. We've been learning that faith case is all about investigating the truth. You are my fellow investigators. We've been learning last week about being part of the body of Christ and Jesus as our head. Let's see what today's faith case is about. What's our clue? I know what's wrong with me. Today's faith case is right now. <gasps> Sorry. Thermometer, bad days, and what is this? Oil, anointing oil. Well, I think our clue today is about being sick. <gasps> Sorry about that. We'll be right back with today's faith case. Achoo! As soon as I get myself together. Okay. Don't go away. We'll be back. Today's faith case. Achoo! All right, so we're back for today's faith case. Our faith case today takes place in two Gospels, same story, but different authors, Mark and Luke in the New Testament. Mark chapter 5, verses 24 to 34, and Luke chapter 8, verses 42 to 48, all revolving around a woman who the Bible doesn't name. We've already looked at our clue that our case has something to do with being sick. Well, the lady in our story today was very sick. I'll be right back in a minute so that we can get right in to today's faith case. So, as I said, our faith case revolves around a nameless woman in the Gospels. So let's meet her. Here she is. Hello. Now, this woman had a sickness, a trouble with bleeding in her body. It sounds really bad, doesn't it? And she didn't have it for like a month or a year. She had this sickness for 12 years. Yes. And some of you haven't even lived 12 years. So can you imagine having a sickness for 12 long years? She was desperate. She wanted to get well, didn't you? Yeah, she didn't know what to do. I mean, she tried all of the, the remedies that, that might make her well. She tried, sickness be gone, didn't work. She tried, the quicker fixer-upper, didn't work. She even tried, Dr. Better's home remedy, definitely didn't work. She took all of her hard-earned money, everything she had, and she thought if she spent her money on doctors, like Dr. Feelgood, come here, doctor. She gave all of her money to Dr. Feelgood and other doctors, but they couldn't help her. No more money. Doctors didn't work. What was she gonna do? She was really, really in pain and she was really hurting. She wanted to get better. But one day, she heard Jesus was coming to town and she got really excited because she'd heard that Jesus healed people. 
He, he opened blind men's eyes and, and caused the lame to walk. And she thought, wow, if, 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 oh, she kept thinking, Jesus is coming to town. So she went into town. <laughs> If I only touch his garment, I will get well. Who touched my clothes? Someone touched me. For I noticed that power had gone out from me. Well, she had to admit it was her. And she went to Jesus and said, I believed if I could at least touch your clothes, I would be healed. So I touched you, and you made me well. So Jesus says, Take heart, daughter. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. So, she went her way that day. She was whole. She was healed. Because Jesus is the healer. When we are sick, we can ask Jesus to touch us and heal us. Jesus said to her, her faith has made her well. When we pray and ask Jesus to heal us, we need to believe. And you did, didn't you? Wow, she left that day rejoicing. She was well after 12 years of sickness. And you know what? Jesus is still our healer. He still heals the sick, but in different ways. There's normal healing. That means that we just get better. We're sick for a while and we get better. Normal healing. And then we've got good health. We need to look after our bodies so that we will stay healthy. If we don't look after our bodies, we can't expect them to function the way they're supposed to. And then we have medicine. We go to doctors, he gives us medicine, or sometimes we might need to go to the hospital for a surgery. That is a way that God still heals. But then, there are miracles, slow miracles. That means Jesus heals us miraculously, but it might take some time. And then we have what our friend in the story, the lady with the, the blood issue, she was instantly, miraculously healed. And Jesus still does that. In the Bible, in churches everywhere. People use a bottle that looks like this or maybe doesn't look like this, but inside it is anointing oil. There's nothing magical about this oil. It doesn't cure anybody, but it's representing or a symbol of the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. And usually, when people are anointed, we put a little drop on people's foreheads and pray over them. And when we lay hands on the sick and pray over them and anoint them with oil, they can get well. That leads us to our memory verse for today. It says, the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. James 5, verse 15. Let's read that one again. Okay, the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. James 5, verse 15. Our faith fact, God heals. God heals. He did for that woman, and he can for you, and he can for me. So let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that you love us, and you want us to be well. You're still in the healing business. You still raise people up. You still do miracles. And so, Father, we're praying today at any sickness that we have in our bodies, we're asking you to heal us. Sickness in people we know, our friends, our relatives, we are asking you to touch them and heal them. We thank you, Lord God, for your healing power and your healing touch in Jesus' name. Amen. Now don't go away because I'm gonna show you a little, a little illustration that's kind of awesome to show you more about Jesus healing us. Well, hi, are you there? 
We are back. I told you I was going to show you something really cool about healing. Jesus as our healer. And so, let's look at these two containers. This one is going to represent sickness or diseases. All right? And we're just going to put sickness all over this plate. A lot of sickness. Woo! Okay. This is going to represent Jesus, our healer. So, we have some of Jesus here. When Jesus touches our sicknesses or diseases, what happens? Woo! The sickness is gone. Yeah. Jesus touches our infirmities, which means sickness or diseases. He heals us. Awesome, isn't it? Okay, so if you're sick, ask Jesus to touch you and heal you. Maybe someone could lay hands on you and anoint you with oil and pray. And if you know someone, someone who is sick in your family or at school or your neighbors, you can pray for them. That Jesus will heal them. He's our healer. So until next time, for another faith case, I'll see you again.